What's going on figureheads? This is EJ Sparks from the Dragon Geeks channel and today I am super excited to do this unboxing. As most of you know, the majority of our packages from our pre-orders from last summer from Premium Bandai actually got lost overseas and so today I finally come home to four boxes. Look at that! Four boxes on my front porch. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing for all four of these. We have Android 18, Android 17, we have Ultra Instinct, Omen, Goku, and we have Kid Gohan. So let's get right into the unboxing, guys. Seatbelts on. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm going to have to ask you to forgive me ahead of time for the lighting. There's a lot of glare on the boxes, but we will get past that, okay? So I'm very happy that I finally got these damn figures in my grasp because if you were getting figures last year, you know the controversy between these three uh, event exclusives, you know, they sold out like right away on the P Bandai website and people were then selling them for like double and triple the price, it was kind of ridiculous. And also for this Gohan, pre-ordered him back in like December or something, and I'm really happy to have this kid Gohan, so we're going to go ahead and get these guys opened up, and of course we're going to do comparisons, we're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and everything else and see if they are worth the buy. Here we go guys. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and start with Goku because, you know, why not? Um, so I know that Demoniacal Fit did their own version of this Goku right here. And um, from the reviews that I saw, it wasn't too bad. So now that we got the real deal here, I'm going to crack them open and take a look and see what we got here. Alright guys, wow, this is what we've got for Ultra Instinct Sign or Ultra Instinct Go or Omen, excuse me, Goku. Try to get all this plastic out of here. Ooh, all the plastic. There's a lot. Holy moly. Well, while I'm struggling with this darn plastic right now, you guys tell me which name you like better. Do you like Omen better or do you like Sign better? Because I call it both, but, you know, this figure says Sign, but a lot of us say, you know, Ultra Instinct Omen. Okay, so, plastic away, and here's what we got. Alright, guys, so... At first glance, this Goku does look very good, and you can tell, like, I know my lighting's a little bit off, so forgive me for that, but, um, when you look at his hair, you can see that it does have, like, the shiny, kind of glossy, glossiness of the Ultra Instinct Omen in there, and, um, just looking at the detail, I mean, the eyes look spectacular, um, we got the bruises on his face, just like the original Ultra Instinct release, so that looks very good. Um, looking at the shirt, like we got some shading going on in the clothing and the shirt as well as the pants, so all that stuff looks all fine and dandy, so so far so good. Like wow, the rips and the tears, everything looks great there. So I cannot complain. Like as for the detail for just how this guy looks, I think he's gonna get a ten out of ten. He's perfect, honestly. I'm so happy to have this and like even his eyes, like you have like the like the silver in his eyes like oh man this guy looks great um, I'm gonna jump right into articulation since we have so many other figures to go through so um we have a looks like his head is on a ball peg right here and he can look down about that much he can look up not too far but no harm done look side to side right there um, we have a bicep swivel right here double jointed elbow here and even though we have this piece right here, his shoulders go up a decent amount, or his arms go up a decent amount. I always do that. Eh, about that far. So not perfect, but decent enough. He does got an ab crunch. He can lean over about this much, lean back about this much here. And as for the legs here, let's see. Holy shit. Did that really just break? Did that really just break? Guys, please stand by. Okay, guys, I had a bit of a panic attack there. Holy moly. So, now I'm, like, afraid to even touch his legs. Like, that's literally never happened to me before with one of these. I was literally just trying to check the articulation on the legs, and it, like, completely popped off. Um, I got the piece back in there, and I pegged the leg back in. So it's working but I'm like afraid to like pose him now like holy crap I've never 
pull an SH Figure Arts figure out of the box and it be that fragile. That was insane. It wasn't like I was pulling on it like crazy or anything either. I'm very careful with my figures. Oh, <sighs> anyway, back on track here, guys. Um, so he kicks forward about that much. Still kind of afraid to move him. He could kick further up, but I'm not taking much chances. Um, we have a double jointed knee right here. Boom, looks good. And of course, we have the little bend at the toe there. If I can get it in camera. Ooh, that's stiff. That's really stiff. There we go. Um, okay, so his articulation is honestly very limited because of the way that the pants, like, because of how the pants are made. Um, it's pretty much the same thing with this Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, the original that they released. They're pretty much the same, um, or at least the bottom half is. And with this one, you know, I have trouble kind of moving his legs. Everything's, like, really, like, stiff in there. Yeah, you can just kind of hear it, so... That's my biggest gripe about these things. Like, I wish they did a more like, you know, the Awakening Goku figure, the Super Saiyan Goku figure, who has the battle damage on his clothes and everything, but his articulation is still fine. Like, it's still perfect. Um, as for the accessories, he comes with um, three other hands, aside from the fist hands on here, and he comes with three other faces. We'll go ahead and just pull out the faces and look at those real quick and move on to the next figure here. Yeah, guys, that leg break really just threw me off of my game, so forgive me for that. Um, so we have this face right here, which is like the uh, the yelling face, which this one is beautiful. Look at that, dude. Like, the detail on that one is crazy. That one looks really good. Um, we also have this face right here where it's like the gritted teeth face or powering up. Come on, baby, focus, focus. There we go. That one looks good as well. And the one that I was most excited about, that I feel like everyone is, but I could be wrong, this one right here, the one that was in like the promotional like photos and stuff, with the eyes closed. This is how this is going to sit in my display. It looks really good. Really, really good. Alright, so um, as for posing him with other figures, I'm just going to pose him with uh, Jiren right here. SH Figure Arts, Jiren. They look good. The scale is on point. Jiren is about, you know, a little bit more than a head over Goku. So that looks really good there. And um, just for the hell of it, I have the SH Figure Arts Endgame Scarlet Witch right here with Goku. Looks pretty cool. All right. So um, final verdict on this guy. So right away, he looks he looks so good. Um, the paint detail, I'm going to switch out his face while I'm talking to you guys. Like, he looks really, really good. And everything was so well done. And the best thing about these Goku figures is you can swap out the different heads like you can put a Super Saiyan blue head on this body um, you could put like the base form head on this body so there's all kinds of cool stuff you could do so if anything it's just really good to have like the different bodies of Goku so you can kind of mix them up but um I think finally oh wow look at that look at that sleeping Goku so I think by now the price on this guy finally dropped down so, the last time I saw it, it was like, you know, about 80, 90 bucks, something like that, if you did not get them on pre-order. But, um, if somebody's trying to sell these guys for like two, three hundred dollars, don't do it. You can get it for a much better price. So, I would say it is worth it. Oh, excuse me. I would say it is worth it, but that leg break while going over the articulation, maybe it was just my figure. It just, it, it made it lose points for me, so it's definitely not my favorite Goku figure. I'll go and give it an 8 out of 10, and I'm going to carry on to the next one. Alright guys, next up is my favorite character of all time, Gohan. I changed settings because the lighting over in the other settings sucked very bad. So, we're going to jump right into this one. Go ahead and pull him out the box here as that purple background comes out too. Alright, so, I'm so excited for this. This one's the one I was literally most excited about. Because I love Gohan. Love him to death. Let's go ahead and pull him on out of here. Oops. Come on, little guy. Here we go. Pull him out of here. And um, let's take that plastic off here. And I noticed that he has the bowl cut head on. Bowl cut hair. Holy crap. The bowl cut haircut on his hair. That's what comes comes on him in the package. But of course, we also got that Saiyan slash Android Saga long hair from Gohan. Which one do you guys like better? That's my question. Like... Obviously, this one, the spiky hair, is, like, most popular, I think. But watching this, the Namek 
arc, Namek and Frieza arc, the bowl cut kind of grew on me. And Gohan with this haircut with the Saiyan armor looked super badass. But anyway, let's jump right into it. So, um, wow, like, he, he looks he looks really good, guys. Like, he looks really good. I know we're not going over scale yet, but right away, I do want to put him with Piccolo. Just to, uh, kind of see how they look. Piccolo's knees are bent right now. So, let's go ahead and put him up straight. Oh, look at that, guys. Holy moly. I'm so excited about this one right here. Look at that. That looks great. Piccolo and Gohan. Alright, let me move him out the way. Alright, so just kind of looking at the face. Um, right away when I'm talking about the detail, one thing that I noticed, he has a really long neck. <laughs> like, I don't know, his neck just looks very long. Like, obnoxiously long. But I guess it's not too bad. As for the hair, they got the hair pretty on point. Looks good to me. Um, the cloth that he has around his neck has very good shading. Like, shading goes a long way, guys. Looks really good. Little shading throughout the gi. Um, little nubby arms and everything look good. Oh, the body looks kind of weird in this portion right here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that's just me. It's not that big of a deal. Pants look good. The little booties look good. Everything looks solid right here. So as for the detail, looks fine to me. Um, we're going to jump right into articulation so we don't spend too much time on each person. So um, with the head, let's see, we have, oh, look at this ball peg. It's like, looks like a double ball peg on there. And I'm going to, since I went ahead and took his head off, let's go and put this head on there right now. Uh, let's pop it right in there. Oh yeah, it pops right in. Look at that. It looks down that much. Can't look up very far with this hair because the hair is in the way. Um, look side to side. Oh, I really don't like this face, guys. Like, I know what they were going for, but this face just looks weird and wonky. But, um, sorry, back to articulation. I'm all over the place here. Bicep swivel, check. Double jointed elbow. Well, it's weird because the littler guys, like the Kid Goku, Kid Krillin, it's like a single joint, but it does bend like a double joint. So, functionality is still done well. Um, ab crunch can't bend over that well. That's what I was looking at when I said the body is kind of weird. Ab crunch is almost non-existent. Um, you can kick up about this far right here. And to the... <laughs> I gotta be careful with this since I broke Goku's leg. To the side. Let's just take it easy. Yeah, I mean, side kick about right there. Doesn't look too bad. Not the best in the world. And of course we got that bend with that toe joint right there. So, I mean, for what it is, I don't want to be, like, too judgy for articulation for the kid, the child figures, because, like, they're so small, it's hard to get all the, you know, right functionality and whatnot for them. So, let me my camera here a little bit down. There we go. So, um, as for accessories, this guy is, like, swamped with accessories. So, let's move this tape over here. And when we look at this, we got the Dragon Ball. This is the one-star ball right here. Namekian Dragon Ball looks super good. He comes with two other faces aside from these two right here. Um, the other two that he comes with, he comes with this yelling face right here, which I like the yelling face. Can you focus for me, camera, please? Focus, focus. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I like how that yelling face looks. That looks so darn good, yo. I dig that a lot. A lot more than the weird looking Chucky face on this one. And then you have the uh, scared face, which this one is specifically for when Vegeta pretty much, <laughs> when Piccolo pretty much took a bullet for Gohan and jumped in front of Nappa's attack. So I like the faces. Um, he comes with two, four, six. Eight. He comes with like eight other hands, including a hand to hold the dragon radar that he has on Planet Namek. And we look at the dragon radar. It's super duper tiny here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Oh, look at that. That's neat. It has the red dot in the middle, and it looks like it spots a Dragon Ball right there. So, that's pretty unique, guys. Honestly, I'm digging this figure a lot. It's not the best figure in the world, especially with the face, the limited articulation, and the super long gi giraffe neck. I'm going to switch out one of the faces here. But for what it is, I could say I'm very happy with him. Holy moly, this doesn't want to come out. All right. Because aside from, you know, the Super Saiyan Gohan from the Cell games, we didn't have an original Gohan. So I'm really, really stoked about this one right here. Let me see if I can get this guy 
back in, this yelling face. You know, because how many rage moments did Gohan have throughout the show? This yelling face right here is like perfect. Yeah, there we go. That's my boy right there. Here we go. All right, guys. So, same thing I said with this Goku. Um, I've seen this Gohan go on sale for like 82 bucks for the most part. Um, so if you didn't get them on pre-order, you can find them for that price right there. Otherwise, I wouldn't spend more than $100 on this figure. Like, definitely don't do that. If you can find them at a cheaper price, definitely try and do that. But overall, I think it's totally worth it. Totally worth the buy. Look at that. Scaling is perfect, because this Gohan is smaller than the one from the Cell games. Dude, this is, this is great. I am so happy with this figure, guys. I really am. Besides the goofy face, this figure is freaking awesome. So, go get it. Go buy it. Let's move on. Alright guys, next, I'm trying to move it along quick here. Sorry, it's taking a bit long. Holy moly. Boxes. Yo, my room is such a mess right now. And we have Premium Color Android 18. Unfortunately, I do not have the original release. But, I wanted to get this Premium Color and see what's really good. Let's go ahead and pop her out. And since I got to go through taking off the plastic off of each one of these guys, I'm going to ask a question for each one. So, even though this is her original iconic look from Dragon Ball Z, am I the only one who wants the pink tracksuit from Dragon Ball Super? I know Demoniacal Fit did one, but I'd love to see one from SH Figure Arts. And if not that, even her tournament look when she participated in the tournament in Dragon Ball Z in the Majin Buu arc, you know, when she had, like, the blue jeans... And like this kind of shirt, but like without the jacket and the skirt. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. But um, anyway, looking right at Android 18, um, she has that stern, badass look on her face because she's literally the Ross female in Dragon Ball C. Um, I said Dragon Ball C, trying to say Super and Z. But um, look at this right away. That's the first thing I noticed was the beautiful shading in her hair, guys. I always say shading is not necessary, but like it. It goes such a long way. Look at that, dude. Looks so good. And, like, the jacket. Oh, that looks a little funny in there. But we'll ignore that. But, um, the jacket looks great. And it's not, like, the super-duper hard plastic like I was expecting. Like, it's actually movable. And I think it's the same deal with the skirt. promise I'm not trying to look up her skirt, guys. Just seeing where it moves and whatnot. So, but look at that. Like, look at the shading all throughout the skirt. My camera doesn't like me today, guys. I'm really trying to focus it. Here we go. You can see there's a beautiful view right there. Like, on the sleeves, there's some shading. On the jacket, on the skirt, on the hair. Dude, this figure is beautiful. She is beautiful. And that's the thing you gotta love about these event exclusives and the premium releases, even though it took us forever to get them. Like, the shading and everything else is just done so well. I'm gonna jump immediately into articulation. Um, she's on a ball peg in there. You can, uh kind of see that in there and head looks down this much looks up this much she looks up better than most figures that's awesome um, side to side right there um, no ab crunch um, well technically no ab crunch but it's like a ball joint in the middle right there the torso so like she can lean back this much she can lean forward this much we got a bicep swivel going on here along with that double jointed elbow right there um, then when we get down here to the lower body, let's see, knees, it is a single jointed knee, but the functionality does enough for it. Um, it's limited because of the skirt, of course, but like, when you lift the skirt up, like, you can see right here, yeah, look at that! She can do front kicks up that high, that is really good functionality right there for a character that has a skirt. So, look at that, it looks, looks awesome, you are able to pose her, if you can make that work with the skirt, you can do that as well, like, look at that. Sidekicks look just like that. Looks really good. And, um, yeah, guys, so paint and details, she's beautiful, bro. She is gorgeous. We're going to go with, like, a 9.5. Let's give her a 10. I have no reason to be picky about that. And I'm um, looking at the accessories right away. Um, she comes with the... Oh, if I could take them off the box. Please stand by. Guys, today is not my day. It really is not. So if you're still sticking with me in the video, thank you. And we have the sassy crossed arms right there. Gotta love that. I'll probably try those on here shortly. Um, she comes with two other faces. 
and they look very similar, but let's see what we got here. Hmm. Face numero uno. We have a smiling face, which is really good to see, because even though she is mostly frowning, she does smile, and the detail on the eyes and everything looks spectacular on this face as well. The other face we got here, um, it's still that frowning stern face right here, but it's like looking off to the side, it's looking off to the left, unless you're looking where I'm looking and she's looking off to the right. Um, so my only gripe about that is, since we already got the stern face, I don't think we needed another stern face like looking off to the side like that. I feel like we should have got a face that was like yelling or gritted teeth or something, like a battle face, you know? Um, she comes with different hair that you could put on her. Let's see if I can get this out. Like, oh wow, and this one has its own like ball peg on there that's pretty damn cool. Like it has that peg that you can just plug in there so it's like the wavy hair for like the fighting. And they got the shading on point on this one too, so zero complaints about that. And then we have like the side hair right here, like the front and the bangs right here. Boom, that you can just plug in right there. Probably give that one a try later here too. And um, she comes with um, three different pair of hands. So, yeah, this figure, really, really good. If you were able to get this pre-order and you finally got it and you're excited like me, enjoy this figure. It is very, very good. And if you have the original, um, you honestly don't need to get this unless you are, like, super strict about getting the, uh, the event exclusives. But um, this one is really good, guys. So, yeah, if you can find it somewhere for less than 90 bucks, then I'd say it is a go. Last but not least, guys, let's move on to... Uh, just kidding, we're not going to move on yet. I haven't scaled it with anybody. Let's look at uh, Vegeta right here. Y'all remember this fight, right? Yeah. And, um, hmm, is that accurate? Because Vegeta's pretty short, but she's not all that tall either. I feel like they're, like, the same height, maybe? I'll have to double-check that. What do you guys think? Hmm. And with her Dragon Star's counterpart, guys. This is who has been standing in my collection for a while waiting on her. Jesus, the Dragon Star's one is a giant compared to her. But, um, obviously, you know, SH Figure Arts is way better if I can get that camera to focus. It's not focusing. Alright, guys, we're going to go and move on to Android 17. Here we go. And last but certainly not least... The MVP of the Tournament of Power, Android 17. Alright, let's go ahead and get this guy open right now. Excited for this one too, because I only have the Dragon Stars Android 17, so I couldn't wait to get one in SH Fig Arts. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull off all this plastic here. And same thing, I would love the uh, Android 17 from um, Dragon Ball Super, that has like the MIR on the shirt. Um, and he has the gloves and everything. I'd love that Android 17. So tell me guys, would you guys like an Android 17 like that from SH Figure Arts? Let me know down below. Alright guys, looking at him right away. Um, could you focus? Yikes guys, my camera and everything's giving me a fit today. The eyes look beautiful. They look great. I know that they're bigger than the original Android 17, which is cool. I actually like that look on there. And the face that comes on him, it's not really a stern face, it's not really a happy face, it's just a face. But, no complaints, looks good. Um, right away, when we look at the shading, you can see, like, the scarf around his neck has plenty of shading around it, which looks good. As well as the pants are, like, very well shaded throughout. And, even on the shirt right here, like, there's a little bit of shading going on in there. And, huh, excuse me, guys. Ooh, excuse me, it's been a long day. So, um... Looking at like the pouch and everything on here. This is pretty cool because I know that you can take this off like if it's re it's removable. And you can like have them hold the gun or you can just keep it right there on the side. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then we go down here. The shoes and everything look good. It looks great guys. We're going to jump immediately into articulation. Um, looks like he's on a ball peg for the head right there. And he looks down about that much. Looks up, mm, not too much, but whatever, for that amount, it will definitely do. And um, we got that ab crunch going on. He's got a really good ab crunch. This one is very well done here. 
And of course we got the, uh, ooh, wait, we don't have a bicep swivel. Well, I guess we do, it's like a bicep swivel that's kind of lower right here. I was expecting it to be up here. And um, we got that elbow that's sort of double jointed, but sort of not double jointed, but the functionality still works. Um, front kicks, oh, wait a minute. It's not coming up. Okay, so front kick on the left, he can come up about that much. Um, doesn't look like it's going up that much on the right. There it is, okay. Just had to move it a little bit. Still a little paranoid off that Goku. Um, we got that double jointed knee right here. Looks good. And um, let's check out those side kicks. Bang, bang. Looks solid right there. Boom. All right. Articulation is uh, pretty good for this guy. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Android 18 and see how they look together. Yeah, they look great. Look at that. Got the Androids right there. Boom. I'm digging that. I'm definitely feeling that go ahead and scale him with a uh, piccolo this is the best fight in dragon ball z fight me i don't care and you know this scaling it looks great because piccolo literally is like a giant compared to everyone else but i think this android 17 might be a little too small i'm not sure let's take a look at his counterpart from dragon stars over here boom yeah, that one like towers. This looks like his little brother right there. Looks kind of funny, but I dig it. And um, just for the hell of it, um, who do we got? We got a Marvel Legends. We got Black Panther right here. How do they scale together? Oh, Black Panther like towers over him. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. Moving on to the accessories. Just like Android 18, he comes with quite a bit of accessories here. Like, but he comes with way more than Android 18. Look at that. He's got two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten other hands, including one hand to hold like the gun right here. You have like the extra holster right here, as well as the gun that's uh, holdable in his hand. Um, he's got the extra scarf right here that's like kind of combat scarf going on here that's kind of blowing in the wind. That looks cool and they got the shading on that one as well. So that's pretty neato. Just like his sister, he does come with the uh, crossed arms over here, if I could get him out the damn box. Comes with the crossed arms, and oh wow, these kind of move a little bit too, which is pretty neat. And he comes with um, an extra extra thing around his waist right here, I guess. Hmm, I'm not sure why it comes with an extra belt. I'm guessing it has something to do with the gun and the, uh, the holster. I'll have to check that out a little bit later. He comes with two other things of hair. Um, he's got the hair that's kind of like, that one dropped, just kidding. He's got the hair that's kind of flowing and the wind back here with on the ball peg, so that one's pretty cool. And this, then this one right here, oh, they go together. See guys, we're learning. Look at that, look at that. I'm going to put that on him because that's going to look super dope, guys. That's going to look very cool. And as for the other faces, he comes with two other faces. Comes with the gritted teeth face where he's kind of like looking to the side. Like he's, you know, looking out for Cell. That looks really good. And then he has the other face, which is a smiling face. I can't get him out the box because nothing is working with me today. Here we go. And we have that smiling face right there. Boom. Yeah, not bad, guys. Not bad. So, um, again, I didn't want to spend too much time on each figure since I was unboxing four of them. But, like, but this one right here... Um, I don't know, I don't want to say he's the best out of the four. He might be my favorite, like, functionality-wise, accessories. Like, everything on him is just, like, spot on. And I'm really, really digging it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the head off right here. Um, it's not wanting to pop off for me, so let's try something different here. So, um, yeah, as I'm, uh, messing with this figure right here, I will say, um, just like with the other ones, guys, you know, very, very um, unfortunate that, you know, our pre-orders didn't come in on time when they did and whatnot. But, like, if you did get these figures, like, I think you'll be very happy with them. And for the most part, it was worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. Okay, so it pops out of his neck. Here we go, guys. As I'm rambling about other stuff, that part comes out of his neck right there. So then we can take the flowing wind part right here. We can bend this peg down right here. Boom. We'll go and plug it in right there. 
plugs in just fine. I think I'm gonna put on the gridded feet, the gridded teeth face right here. Boom. That plugged in. Look at that hairline. Look at that hairline. Holy crap. We're gonna go and plug in this last piece right here with the flowing hair. If I could get it in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys. This is spot on. I am effing with this heavy right now. This looks so good, and it's gonna look so good in my display. Yeah, guys, so this one probably definitely is my favorite. Once again, like, the prices finally dropped for these guys, so if you can find them for a decent price, I can't get them to stand up, then this one's definitely worth it. And I know he comes with more accessories than the original, and he's definitely a better alternative than Dragon Star, so if you can get your hands on this guy, go ahead and do so, alright? I'm gonna go and give the final verdict on all these guys together. Alright guys, final verdict on the missing cargo ship items that I finally got delivered. Um, all the figures are great in their own way. I didn't get to go super in-depth with the flaws that I found in there, but that is totally fine. I say that overall, each one of these figures is definitely worth the buy. I'll say again, for the androids, if you have the original, then you don't necessarily need these two. Um, but as for the Kid Goku and the Omen... Oh, yeah, yeah. As for the Kid Gohan and the Omen Goku, these are definitely worth the buy. Definitely need them in your display. So i definitely go ahead and cop them if you have not got yours on pre-order. So again, guys, I know this video was long. It was kind of all over the place, and there's a few mishaps. But I thank you guys so much for sticking with me throughout this video. And um, just stay tuned for more content because it is coming your way. So please like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for another episode. Thank you guys for rocking. Bye-bye.